What is up, my beautiful people? Welcome back to another video with the girl Pamela Janani. Welcome back <coughs> to my channel. What is the vibe tribe? Happy, happy day. If you guys are not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and do so. What are you waiting for? Go ahead, get your girl up, okay? Build the tribe that we are partaking in on this platform because it is a sweet one, okay? God, mm -mm -mm, he has a lot in store for me and this channel. What's up, son? You thirsty? Go bring me your cuppy. It's in the room by the bed. He's not going in there. Your um, waffle is almost done. Your bacon is already done. Your turkey bacon, okay? Go bring me your cuppy. He's the best little boy. So redesign, rewrite your story. I, I did a video similar to this about rewriting your story, okay? We are to understand that from the time we were born, our parents and the people around us helped write our story. And a lot of those people in a lot of people's lives, they should not have been writing your story. They should not have partake in the writing of your book, your life. But they were there, you couldn't control it, and yes, they were an influence, okay? So as we grow, we're supposed to redesign and rewrite who we are and our story. And we're now in charge of who's going to have a scene in our story, our life, all right? So this video is for you guys to understand how important it is as an adult, okay, to take pride and ownership of your life. Never be embarrassed about anything that happened to you that you had no control of over or maybe that you did have control over. We all make mistakes. We are human, point blank, period, okay? I'm going to go get my son some. Hold on. okay i'm back guys sorry about that so yes it is important for us to redesign rewrite our story in our life okay it's important for us to do that okay so let's get started here um everything that we were taught from birth okay has played a role in the choices that we make it has played a role in what we have seen what we have learned by other people you know and it's time for us to choose what we want to learn. It's time for us to choose the people that we want to be around. It's time for us to choose not toxicity, but happiness, peace, prosperity, and joy. A lot of you guys were born into toxic environments. You were born, born into narcissistic homes. And that is who you are, who you become, or who you have surrounded yourself with. You know, it's an unknown pattern. It's an unknown um action it's an unknown story that you are now living that you learn from someone else you know so rewrite and redesign your now okay um as an adult it's time to have fun it's time to create the new you it's okay to want to say okay you know i'm looking in the mirror and i don't 
I don't recognize this person. This is not who I truly feel like I am. So I want to I want to do some research on who I am. I want to tap into other waters and see what I like. I want to redesign and rewrite my own story. This is a new chapter. This is a new season. And I am in charge of writing it is how you should be right now. Choose happy, choose freedom. We are not free until we um, lose, okay, the, the attachment that we have to validation from others, their opinions, making them facts. We are not free until we live in our authentic self. And sometimes it's not easy to do that because we are attached to people that we were um, forced to have in our story. And this is toxic family. This is toxic people that we grew up. We, we grew to love because that is all we knew and had. All right. Select what you want, not what others want from you and for you. With this new um, redesign process, you must be okay with the good and the bad. You must be okay with knowing that, yeah, that person did something to me that hurt so bad, but yes, I learned from it. Yes, it is time for me to choose now and not be dragged or brought into a situation of, or whatever it is that I don't want to be a part of, okay? Um, it's time for us to take off the mask. It's time for us to stop trying to, pre to pretend to be someone or like something that we don't like. You are not at peace if you are living in a false narrative that you wrote for yourself because you want to hide or that someone else wrote for, for, for you because they want you to hide, you know? Trying to please others will steal and unalive your life even while you're living. You will be living like a zombie. You will be living every day and you don't want to. And that is unfortunate. I want you to get started right now and redesign, rewrite your story. All right. If you guys, I'm going to keep doing videos because this is what I'm called to do and so much more. But if you guys really need help, you guys, let me tell you, there's a lot of expensive coaches out there. Um, I'm not one of them because I'm here to do work, you know, a lot for God and to help people live in their authentic life. So if you guys are interested, any of you guys are interested in me helping you heal and, and being your life coach and whatnot, a lot comes with it, you know, nutrition and so much more. So if you guys are interested, drop a comment down below and let me know. Okay. Um, and we can exchange emails and you guys can see what it is. All right. But I need you guys to start rewriting your life, okay? This is this is your book, okay? Your book, your story, your life, okay? Um, that kid in you, a lot of the kid in us, it, it's begging to be happy, you know? If you were in a, a home that you were not happy in, you were in poverty, that kid inside of you is rooting for you to be happy, you know? Whew. Some of you guys, it's okay to say no. Your toxic mom, your toxic dad, your toxic wife, your toxic husband, your toxic cousin, your toxic friends. It's time for you to say no. I want to be happy. I'm not happy right now. Yeah, I chose to get in this situation, this relationship, this marriage. Yeah, I chose to sit around toxic family members and gossip and listen and lie. I chose that. Yeah, not me, but I'm saying if you did, okay. But it's time for you to now say no, I don't want to be a part of that. God is watching every single one of us choose. He's watching all of us adults make decisions that he know we can make properly. Let's happen to it tomorrow. Almost done. Trust people as you want. No, treat people as you want to be treated. When you do that, you eat well, you sleep well, you be well. But when you are walking around mistreating people that, that you know should not be mistreated, you are not going to eat well. You're not going to sleep well. You will be chased by people in the spirit world that will hunt you down for trying to hunt an innocent person down. Don't mess with people who are healed. Don't mess with people who are protected by loving ancestors that you know nothing about, who are laughing with your ancestors' enemies, our ancestors who are powerful and watching us and rooting for us. They're talking to our enemies' ancestors, as I said before. And our enemies, your enemies need to understand that there's not one person in the spiritual world who is rooting for God on Team God that is going to turn their back on somebody because they are blood-related. Blood does not mean anything 
The way you treat a person means everything to God. So if you're loyal to a toxic mom or toxic dad, a toxic cousin, if you're loyal to toxic because it's in your DNA, you are going against God and his people. You don't want to do that. They don't want to do that. That is it for this video. I love you guys so much. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Share my content on all of your platforms, okay? Let's build God's people. Let's build this channel. We're here to stay. God's people. I love you. I love you so much. I'll see you later. Bye.